<laughs> Welcome to Comic Commentary. I jump around and then we're going to let's do it. This week's uh, Facebook banner is James Mankang. Ah, uh, James! Check him out. He's standing there. If you look at his shirt, it kind of says Beretta. <clears throat> oh. Are we halfway done with the comic commentary? Right? Yeah, we're yeah. almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Guys, also, if you're not the banner, uh, please check out these other Facebook banners. Oh, 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 Ooh, we're jumping and in with some Rob Stark. Yeah, about that. Richard huh? Madden. Some you didn't know. He is Mr. So handsome face. Handsome. Now, Steve Zaragoza and Joe Beretta uh, left me behind to make a friend. Me and me uh, I'm not going to say I was jealous, we but I was, I was, jealous. was legitimately jealous. Yeah, I was yeah, legitimately je jealous. We were jealous. I'm upset. I made proposal oh. signs. I made a whole bunch of proposals. Oh Will God, you marry me? me? Too. Yeah. That's so funny. What, right? did you do you sequence or just glitter? No, just glitter. Really? Oh! Did you spell There's rose petals. See, I you. went just Will straight Y O U with marry it. Me. I didn't just do the letter. Damn. Did you guys hear how Steve yeah. and him are actually like best friends? I yeah, know. that's crazy. So Steve, well, we went and uh, we we interviewed or, or hung out with him at the Klondike. He's like a baby premiere. Michael Fassbender. He's yeah. so handsome. Mm, he is here in LA. And then there was another one in New York and Steve just happened to be in New York and his publicist liked what we did with the video so much that she called Steve and was like, hey, come to the New York premiere. Well, why not? And Steve went and apparently it was massive. And Richard Madden like made eye contact Luck, with guys. Steve across the room, jumped out of his, his little circle and, and he was he was a little bit on the happy juice, I think. And just like ran to Steve and was like, Steve, I love you. Oh, Steve said, oh, and he was like whispering in his ear for like 10 minutes. Like, like when you guys night. went to Comic Con and yeah. I had to celebrate my anniversary. Oh, and you were I so couldn't upset go. about that. And you guys that. came back and you were like, you know what was great, you Elliot, at Comic Con. Time. And I was you like, well, you know what? Yeah, I was slept great. in my truck. The restaurant and. Elliot, yeah, Joe did sleep. And then you know what Joe also did? He slept in his truck until I snuck him upstairs into a hotel room and he slept in some girl's hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> It was Trisha's. It was Trisha's at the time. <laughs> yeah, I went to go work and then I found, and I slept found in, a in a parking garage. garage. <laughs> so, on that note, uh, Fred X Weasley X Forever said, when Richard mm. said the thing about how the injuries on his wedding ring finger are an omen, my first thought was the red wedding. <laughs> The Red Wedding was not an omen Spoiler for anything. Spoiler alert! Man, the and Red they, Wedding they was do, a you know, omen, my God, mm -hmm. what just happened. So I didn't see it coming. Oh, men, my God. <laughs> Look at you. Lone Wolf M16 said, Joe, what are you talking about? Is it, what's it going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lone Wolf M16 said, Joe, what you're talking about is a flail, not a mm -hmm. mace. Yeah, I confused A them. mace is basically a flail without the chain, oh, usually used to smash thick through thick armor. armor. And, and yes, flails were incredibly practical and rarely used. <laughs> You guys know that guy. Yeah. Nailed it. Whatever. I still contend that a sword would be superior. I still quicker, contend that. Go, well, shut you, up. If you know what a flail or a mace is, bravo. Go huh? back to your LARP. LARP, LARP! Go back to your LARP! Go get your agility and points. Bring me boots, with you because bitch. I would really enjoy, I think, a good LARP. Yeah, would you? I did like it. So I was when I was a kid, I was always like, I'm never gonna lose my imagination. And then I promptly lost it with yeah, that, like, a vengeance. With LARPing and all that stuff, there's a wall, there's a barrier that I could pass through and I could get back to the imagination realm. When you do though, it's just gonna be like all hell's broken loose. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, we lost Elliot. I am a lord He's of like, darkness. I am the <laughs> Huzzah! Tom Bob uh, Bombadil. <laughs> Quest Tom with me. It's a hobbit thing. Oh, yeah. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil said the solution to that whole phone problem isn't to get rid of phones. It's get rid of smartphones. I'm 23 and I'm totally rocking an LG flip phone. I have never taken it out in public, <laughs> even if I wanted to. What can I really do? Read old text messages? Wow, dude, good for you. We were talking about what things that we would get rid of, like yeah. one normal. And you said phone. Decided. You said I, phone, said right? Yeah. I know because I watched that source bed video. I watched oh. it like ten times. You're in love. Because he is. Pretty. Does he have a like, YouTube channel? I, he should, right? He collab. should be really doing some other things, like, you know, being... He need, since he's on one of the greatest television shows yeah. ever in existence. He needs a YouTube He needs channel. to get time. Yeah. <sighs> no! Worst police sketch ever! 
Uh, so the <laughs> a police sketch was released of uh, what can only be a Muffet Man. I will say I got a tweet that some guy was like, oh my god, my friend looks like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> His friend legitimately looked like the guy. I was like, that's pretty hilarious. We asked you guys to let us know some of the police fails that you know of in Ooh. the comment section down below. Not a doctor 1996 says, so I take it the suspect list has been narrowed down to Carl Pinkington. Pilkington. Pilkington, or an aged Charlie Brown on crack. Looks like the boys down at the precinct will be knocking off early today. It really is like <laughs> fascinating what they even thought. They're like, just go for it. Like, <laughs> any of us could have drawn that. Yep. The uh, the spunk the spunk monkey said it looks like that painting of Jesus. Yeah, the one with Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> that was. I love the Wolf Jesus. I don't get like passionate Our... about news stories, but that's one of the funniest things yeah. that ever happened. The like, lady period. tried to fix the painting. She just makes it, it just look, made look like Andre the Giant. It just, I kept thinking when they were gonna cut to that lady, she's just gonna have these horrible Coke bottle glasses and be like, <laughs> did I do a bad job? She's just a cartoon character yeah. herself. You guys ever wonder if you were to commit like a crime or like a murder or something, how people would describe you to a sketch artist? I Ooh. think about that all the time. I'm like, what would they say about me? Would it look like me or not? So I guarantee I could not describe anybody to an amazing artist to the point where they could be really I know. creative. Yeah, yet, not, especially not with a crime situation. I feel like they know the questions to ask though. They'll be like, did the, like, what's up uh, with the nostrils? Did they flare? And people can remember minute details. Mm -hmm. So they ask about every minute detail and then from that they get a sketch. I don't know, I'm totally guessing. Well, here's the thing though, there's people <laughs> that I've met multiple times and I always forget their name. And I always say like, but I never forget a face. And that's not true, I forget a face. Yeah, I forget so many faces to the point where they're like, hey, and I'm like, hey, how do I know him? Yeah. <laughs> I have Facebook friends that I couldn't describe. Oh, I went through my hair. Facebook friends the other day and I was like, I don't know. Half of these people. Yeah. Elliot Morgan, I would be like, uh, thicker eyebrows, a broader face, put Rachel Maddow. Right? I don't think I look too much like Rachel Maddow. Like a more <laughs> vertical Leonardo DiCaprio, or like, like Ryan Gosling, if he had a like more sass, or like uh, or or a fastbender, if he was a little had a little more sass. Do what me. Oh, okay. Uh, you'd be hmm. like. Um, Let's see. If you ask about his mouth, what Mark would you say? Wahlberg. I would be like. Super... I'd be like. It's it's like a sh eating grin. You It'd know what like... though? You have you have the jawline of of an athlete. Yeah, you, you do. really do. do I? Oh, you do with bluer eyes. Uh, an elf knows. So who? Let's all be honest. You suspect somebody knows. murdered a shelter full of animals. What did he look like? Uh, like an all-American guy like with like just, a beard. He looked like really super, athletic. He like, looked the, like he describe my personality. loved chunky potato soup. Mm -hmm. Oh, his hair grows out of his head in every direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most accurate thing anybody's ever said about me. What we're saying here is uh, mug us, you'll get away. Yeah. 1995, Philip Ireland says, I was walking down the street on a cold winter's night when a police car pulled up next to me. The officer rolled down his window, looked me up and down, obviously thinking, yeah, this guy will know, and said, excuse me, son, have you seen a stray cow walking around the streets tonight? <laughs> he then got a warning for laughing too hard at the officer and wasting police time. Best night ever. Dude, I'm not kidding. If I was a policeman, I think I'd do that prank constantly. Like, come up and be like, hey, which way do the aliens go? Don't f with my okay. time. Which way do the aliens I know. go? That's why we definitely chose our career path yeah. and they oh, yeah. chose theirs. <laughs> He's trying to find time. a missing bovine. Yes. That was that guy's job that night. But that's like my He went through the now. academy. He wanted to make a difference and he needed to find Bessie. Bessie. That cow <laughs> bro, went down a wrong path in life. It's probably trying to, hey, he's uh, trying to mug somebody. Somebody else me. is trying that to explain like, to a sketch artist Man, what that cow looks like. That cow. <laughs> well, she had heroin, so much heroin on her. I don't know, it was a cow. She was just peddling it to kids. Or was it like a male cow or like mm. a female? It was a female. What kind of color orientation I, did I, that cow I, have? Brown, it's just a brown cow. How now, brown okay, cow? Okay, damn it. <laughs> don't waste my time. Don't, don't you waste my time! time. Candy Crush, Chase my Candy! Candy Crush, Chase my Candy! Candy Crush, Chase my Candy! I know he's here! Oh. Candy Crush, Trade Marks, Candy! I think you said Candy Shut Crush, up. Trade Marks, Candy. <laughs> uh, candy Crush, Trade Marks, Candy. <laughs> the makers of the popular game Candy Crush Saga are trademarking the word candy and trying That's to true. ruin the world. True. We asked you, what That's are you true. addicted to and what would you trademark if you could? Oh. What would you trademark if you could? Uh, that Two one different guy. questions. I know. Hey, I know. I, I I know. Can't trademark cocaine. That one guy says, I'm addicted to YouTube. I'm mm -hmm. literally subscribed to over 100 people. That crazy. That is crazy. Uh, I think I might hold a record. My favorite channels are probably the source-fed ones. Probably. 
I yes like or no, taste, that one buddy. guy. Yeah. Yes or no. Make your decision. Make it. Uh, Devin Crandall said, I would trademark my first name. There's a lot of Devins out that make my name look bad. Yeah, well, there's a lot of linking verbs that make your sentence look bad. Am I right? Come on now. There it is. There it is. I'm sorry. Is it hot in here? Because I think I just set that person on fire. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. A little, to little toasty in there because you've been burned. You've oh, been burned. Oh, wait, hold on. I, yeah. I read it wrong. Oh, yeah. man. I'm sorry. Is that a combination lock or is it, do I need to put a key in it? Because I just locked you away, my friend. Put you in a box. Can't do you, get out. Are you no, lower you than you were before? And does your face hurt? Because you just got smacked down. Got a little put down. A little put down right there. Uh-huh. 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 I think, uh, are you having, uh, software problems in your PC? Because I just shut you down. Oh! I did. I shut you down, my friend. I did. You had a typo, so I typecast you into not knowing how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Are you going you know to, are you going All right. to word services? Because you just got verbally yeah. abused. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think you just got verbally abused. I think you just got verbally abused. And you know what? That uh. happens. You gotta look. You gotta look. All right? <laughs> you typed with nubbins? Did somebody cut your fingers off? Were they making the salad and your fingers were part of the ingredients? Did they just dice them up and put them in there? <laughs> That's how you're gonna go one of these days. You're what? gonna be doing a physical, a physical <sighs> bit, and you're gonna snap your neck and just, <laughs> <laughs> just oh, dies. Joe's like, committing again. Joe. I love when he does this. Joe. He severed his spinal column. The best too is the the amount of time it would take somebody to, from laughing. <laughs> Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. 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 It was pretty funny though, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, test subject 1090 said, I would trademark the word dinosaur and only Lee could use it. I'd feel oh, bad because uh -huh. I'd be using it wrong constantly. It'd just be, I like dinosaur, and then paleontologists would be like, uh. <laughs> what are they going to do? Uh. I sound like, uh. Iman LeBron said, if I could trademark porn, I would watch the world burn beneath me. Wait, what? What? I do not think you know what trademark means. I do not think you know what he means. Things that I've been addicted to in an online sense, um, online cribbage. I've oh. spent hours upon hours listening to various music and just decimating people. In cribbage. In online cribbage. Blackjack. Uh, you guys don't even know how uh, to play cribbage. <laughs> well, I don't know what cribbage is. A lot is. of blackjack. I have an addictive personality. Do you have an addictive personality? I went to Las Vegas and I came back and I played blackjack on my phone for like two months straight. Really? But I'm going back again in March, so I'm hoping to reignite the fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Candy Crush, I was genuinely. She was. That's too. not even a lie. She that was Candy Crush all, all day. My wife is day. Candy Crush addicted, is and she, she had right to wipe now? her phone, and she was like on level 170, 80, something yeah. like that. It took That's her a long a time to get there. And she wiped her phone, and she lost all of her Candy Crush info. She was upset for days. That's days. one of those she you was like pay extra to get angrily. things, right? Yeah. I don't know. Like you pay extra in Candy Crush? Did yeah. you ever pay for it? Uh, yes, I did. You That's paid? What I paid. <gasps> That's what I was trying to say. No. Yeah, it got dark. I'd be like $2 and I'd be like, oh, it's a latte. Like, what a big deal. And I'm like, no. I want a latte. Like, what am I doing? And then I'd get like money into it. And it wasn't much. It was like probably in, in max over like a month's time, it might have been $20. Oh, so that it was no. $20. They got you good. They got me good. You know what it is? It's because I don't have patience. And so I'd be like, you can buy an extra move for a dollar. And I'd be like, well, if I have an extra move, I win. And I'd be like, yeah. No yeah. way. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that and then uh, <laughs> opiates. <laughs> yeah, heroin. Have you ever tried opiates? No. What, what, what counts Me neither. as opiate? Is it like morphine and all that? <laughs> yeah. yeah what I, really then counts I have, these yes, days. I have, done, I have done opiates. But that's just because of like surgeries and stuff. Uh, so far, morphine is a real kicker. Uh, codeine's okay. I'm allergic to it, though. Um, there's, an there's another I've never Demerol done. really drools me out. I've never done um, stronger than an ibuprofen. Never. You'd be hit so hard. My dad was on Demerol once, and he was on a really wonderful tangent of, like, I see how I'm going to them. Behind it, too. He was very passionate about what he was saying, and we're all like, mm-hmm. We love <laughs> you, too, Father. Me some, and again, what am I doing? <laughs> 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 great stuff. Hey guys, that's it for this episode of Common Commentary, but it's not quite it because now we're gonna do the outro stuff, which includes Ultimate Pop Culture on <gasps> Saturday, which also includes the triumphant return, return of oh, Truth, Truth or Dare. Dare. Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. Oh, Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. I was, I was like, what are you talking about? 
Yeah. I suppose it wasn't triumphant, but it is returning. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Six yeah. of us get we together. We did it uh, because, and I want to mention this, this has been uh, two years uh, <gasps> on January 23rd. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, officially, we We've three been doing this for started this uh, this channel called SourceFed and uh, two on it years. with uh, Phil, who's somewhere around here. And it's been uh, it's been two years, and it's been going very well. And want to thank you guys for sticking yeah. with us and watching us grow. I know it seems like we do silly stuff, um, but and we've we improved a lot because of you guys mm -hmm. and being patient with us. And we love you and thank yeah. you. And that's kind of one of the so reasons much. we wanted to bring back Truth or Dare because we know that you guys like it so much. Yeah, so, we love you. Uh, thank you. It's been a crazy two years. Yeah. Crazy two years. How right, wonderful. James, it's been two years. Yep. Go ahead. Go look, look back at me. Go Guys, ahead. Oh, were... yeah. Go look at the first oh, video. Oh, Baby Ellie is our favorite. You know what? Throw up a still Baby of one Joe's of the first my videos. Yeah. The first comment commentary. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Oh, the it. first one is pretty rough. Whatever. I went back. Rough. They were not that bad, actually. <laughs> I, I was like, no, these are horrible. And you could tell, like, the pacing is very, like, Ha, da, 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 da. But it's okay. It's yeah, cool. it's not We're bad. babies, though. We're babies. We're babies Especially yeah. Elliot. Yeah, yeah, you do look Super like a baby. baby. Yeah, you should see what happened to uh, on the my soul. soul. Anyways, um, thanks and have a great day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, I think yeah. that's pretty okay, much cool. it. Okay, cool. You gonna go to bed now? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna leave you in the bed. Oh, it's a bedtime. It's a bedtime story. Okay. Oh, a little baby. Precious angel. Okay. Oh. God, he drinks so much now. This is every day when the camera stops. We'll just give you a little behind oh. the scenes here. This is what happens. It's uh, two years straight. Two years straight. You would think after four interventions it wouldn't be a big deal. I mean, we're used to it. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta throw him over so he doesn't asphyxiate. <laughs> <laughs>